Greetings, YouTube neighbors. So today uh, I'm doing some doing some cleanup on the property, getting ready for spring. I had this brush pile sitting here for a while. I thought this is where I wanted it. Turns out I was wrong. So now I'm, I'm slowly moving it over, doing kind of an old man task of I'm moving it like 30 feet. I have a giant stump that I'm not gonna be able to remove. I'm just gonna pile it up there. So I just wanted to demonstrate this uh, iron craft uh, four in one bucket on how is it operating with brush. So you can see there, I mean, definitely a, a traditional grapple probably would do a better job. Um, but this thing's doing really good. You just gotta be a little, a little more patient with it, probably drive into the pile twice to try to get it full. And then you're never gonna get it absolutely maxed out because your pinching space is kind of limited. And then you can still dump it really high, which again, this is kind of a, a spot where the, the bucket is better because on a grapple, I wouldn't be able to dump it off quite like that. And then I can always close it and then push the pile a little further. It's behind there is basically just swamp ground. And you can see, I'm getting a nice little pile there and you can see the part of the stump there that I'm not gonna be able to yank out. I don't know what was there. Part of an old house might have been demoed there. year old house so I'm, I'm not interested in going to find out what's underneath there I'm just gonna cover it with storm damaged branches so here I'm at the bottom of the pile and I, I just look at where the bottom of that dozer is I like to pick up the pile a little bit and then knuckle backwards and then just keep pinching you can see here I got I got a little bit more than I bargained for on the right hand side see if I can shed some of it. This is about a 650 pound bucket on a tractor loader that has about a 2600 lift. So we're sitting about, you know, somewhere around 2000 pounds of lift, probably not actually because of where the bucket's placed and all the other add-ons, but doing great. Really like it, doesn't hesitate at all. Um, Definitely from like my stump bucket to this bucket, you do feel the weight. It's very present, but it doesn't pick up the back end or anything like that. Right now I do have about a thousand pounds on the back with a call to packer and um, some weights on the quick hitch. But it's working really good. Um, this tractor is very pleasant to work in and this bucket's been treating me good when they, uh, when you get the bucket from Ironcraft, they give you quite a bit of hose there because again, they're meant for a skid steer and where skid steer's hydraulic attached, it's a little bit more of a distance than on a tractor. But because of that, um, it works good where you don't have to worry about the curling, that you've maxed out your hydraulic hose, you risk damaging your hydraulics. It works really good. So there, I, I only have a two wheel and I ran out of traction there for a minute. Try to pinch and pull back. Give it one more pinch. And there we go. So this project won't take more than an hour or two. Uh, pretty, pretty easy light work. That pile's been sitting there probably one to two years. I can't exactly remember when I put it there. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a great. Another great use of the four-in-one bucket. I think four-in-one buckets are largely not well known with just property owners. And uh, it's a nice replacement for a bucket and a grapple. It really does work good. Um, I don't own a traditional bucket or a grapple. This is the, the only multi-tool like that that I actually own. The other one just set of forks and a, a stump bucket and it works great see everything is snappy and this bucket is really meant for a skid steer it's got that big long uh, face on it normally it's a little bit more narrow when you have a tractor but it, it kind of depends on the dynamics of your loader how much extra lift capacity do you have how well can you see 
some cases it's nice to have that extra long bottom on it because the tractor, your visibility to your bucket is somewhat limited. So to have more area to work with, more spots you can see can be more helpful. It can go both ways though. So yeah, I, uh, I hope I gave a little bit of a, how well does this thing work? I plan in a couple months, I'm gonna do a review or maybe a couple weeks of this. And uh, I just wanted to get it out there. I didn't see a lot of Ironcraft uh, talk out there. So I'm just gonna let this run for a bit. This is uh, the max opening, so you, you can see like there's a lot of space in there you can use. And sometimes when I'm driving around, I'll just open this up because I can see the ground more close, more close to the tractor. And that weird hitch you see on there, it's only got one bolt on it. The plan is I'm going to weld that on, so I have a two-inch receiver on the front of here, and I'm going to also weld on a couple bucket hooks. on the, the near to do list. Here we go. We got a big one now. Actually found some real trees instead of just brush. Yeah, you're never going to get a full load with a, with a grapple like this. Obviously, if you were digging in dirt, I mean, it'd be possible to do it then, but you can hear my co-pilot talking. My, uh, I use my phone for the video, so She's used to listening to music and watching it on my phone, so she's in mild protest. But I am using the phone for now. Yeah, normally on a grapple, it'd be difficult to dump things up this high. Get one stick on there, I want to get out. That's not a big deal. static tractor so not not the world's greatest amount of push power but still does really good it's a, basically a non-issue if you're pushing into dirt piles all day it'd be a little bit more interesting if you'd be better off with it, a gear transmission versus a hydrostat but it is convenient for this hydrostat of how easy it is to pressure on the grapple is pretty significant. I've had it just snap trees all on its own just from using the pinch power in the bucket. So certainly they're all well fitted to each other and it's really good gauge steel. Um, welds are all the way through. It's another quality of being a skid steer bucket. They build them more robust. Um, so I'm not at all worried about that bucket. are well protected in it. Yeah. There we go. Well, thank you for watching. If you got any other questions about this or want to see a different use case for this bucket, I am planning to move some dirt here in a couple weeks. Let me know. I'm going to do my best to give honest overview of what I think of these products. Thank you.